If the dioramas here at the American Museum's Hall of North American Mammals are to evoke a sense of wonder and mystery and magic, certainly the wolf diorama, I think, is one that really meets all of those definitions. One of the major restoration efforts was the replacement of all of the older lighting fixtures to utilize more energy efficient lights and also lights that would emit less harmful rays. In the case of the Wolf Diorama, when we replaced those, it changed the entire lighting balance and some of the values, which demanded a restoration and recoloring of the snow surface. You can see that it is anything but white. Here's a little sample of it on the board. And it's really very dark. But back in the rear of the diorama, close to the background painting, when the lights are out, it duplicates the value of the light raking the vertical painted surface in the snow. The time of the year and the time of day would call for the moon to be at one's back, shining into the diorama. When the five lights were installed, of course, to, to simulate that blue moonlight, there were five which potentially cast five shadows. So crushed marble dust that was colored had to be sifted in place to conceal those multiple shadows and consolidate them into the effect of just having one moon shadow. So there was a lot of adjusting with ultramarine blue and alizarin crimson and a little yellow ochre to get that value of snow to blend perfectly with the painting and then also to recreate the effect of moon shadow with dry color as well to create the shadow of branches and the shadow of wolves themselves on the snow and color out, you might say, the other shadows that were created by the artificial light. I think that might be it. Let's take one last look with the lights out. Monday we seal it up. <laughs>